hi everybody welcome back and like it's been a couple i think it's been like a year maybe 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 two years since i last posted i had a roller coaster of life since then it's like 11 30 at night when i decided to make this video i was working at a daycare and my kids were going to the daycare currently a stay-at-home mom because when my daughter was two she was diagnosed with um generalized seizures because um one day while i was working um during the summer she literally i took her out of the swing and had to lay on the floor because she was having a full-blown seizure the most traumatic event of my life <clears throat> and then from there on um she was put on Keppra, Depico, and Onfi. Um, not immediately, like throughout time, she was placed on, first she was placed on Keppra, and then after a couple months, Depico, and then after a couple months, um, EEG, well, at home EEG, hospital stay EEG, she was put on Onfi, and then her. Capra was decreased because we were weaning her off of it and then she also got a diagnosis of autism <clears throat> so there was just a lot as you can see going on a lot of medical um, stuff going on and constantly having to be in an emergency room doctor's offices <clears throat> hospitals <clears throat> sorry um and yeah so it's been quite a roller coaster and then on top of that um me and my partner well he was my partner we had broken up so we do co-parenting um and i am a single mom of two and they do have the same dad but i had gotten pregnant last year and um had a baby and now now I'm a mom of two I have a little boy and so with my daughter's diagnosis of autism we have been getting her as much help as we possibly can everything is a process um, to get help when you have a child with autism especially behavioral problems you know getting diagnosis and all this stuff so that's what's been going on me myself and I from one of the other videos you've seen um, called Getting Better, episode one, I talked about my anxiety, my depression, and I was clearly going through postpartum depression, and it was very, um, I even played back and watched it myself, and like, I kind of got a little teary-eyed, like, I was just like, that poor little young me, um, so, so gentle. Yeah, it's so naive, you know. That girl needed some love, and I'm here to give her as much love as I possibly can. I took action this time around um, because I got PPD, but during my pregnancy. So it's like pre-postpartum depression, I think. I don't know the proper term for it. Um, but I did get it, and um, I did get medication for it, and I am going through therapy and I'm getting help and I'm getting better and I'm getting I'm like I'm happy and we're just doing the best we can with her and my son's only about like two months he turns three months on the 29th and currently I am 23 years old and I turned I turned 24 on the 22nd um sorry I'm still like going through my postpartum so I kind of have like this like I want to say foggy brain but I have um a lot of brain fart so my words get like mixed up still and you when you become a mom you kind of like have mom brain and, and uh, you know just taking care of myself and being really uh tuned with myself and my feelings and emotions and really really trying to get by and do as much as i possibly can um and just learning and that's what i've been trying to do lately um lately like I have been organizing and I have been just like really cleaning and because like my the way that my house was the last time you guys see me clean my house and everything it has completely changed um and has had uh, you know accumulating more things I've lived here a lot longer um 
and then like throwing things away and you know you're always gonna accumulate and throw things away and organize and like give things away donate things so that's kind of like where it's been at but things honestly have been looking a lot a lot better um i love how everything is starting to look it's like sitting down and i kind of just like i wanted to get back into my hobby and this is my hobby this is what i want to do this is what i like to do um i find it fun i find it creative um just doing this doing social media um i know i'm not the best at it but i am learning so please be patient with me and give me some grace you know stay tuned for more vlogs and more more stuff just to come and yeah i will guys i will see you guys in my next video i hope you guys enjoyed this little uh quick video this little catch up me catch up me you see what i mean like anyways um I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a beautiful, blessed day, night, or week.